Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today is a really highly requested video and I haven't been posting in a month It's because I have been so busy with like A-levels and settling into my new school and also guys, I'm not boarding anymore so if you guys want a separate Q&A video, I can make another one as well but today, I'm gonna be telling you guys how I basically managed to get all nines in my sciences and they're also really high nines and i'm gonna pull up the evidence here right now because these are my credential cred credentials okay so for biology i got 171 out of 180 all through all two of my papers um for chemistry i got 169 out of 180 and for physics i got 166 out of 180 so you can do the maths but they are probably on 90 percent and above so without further ado let's begin so first of all with my favorite science biology for me biology was the highest and like one of the easiest ones my first tip is to take notes actively and what i mean by this is i feel like note taking really helped me but i do it with my book closed so i will like look through my book and cgp like once and then i'll do my notes like actively as like active recall and like it's really good to like lock in the memory in here and i have my stack of notes here and i try to make them as pretty as possible so i can romanticize them like this is plant nutrition and then i have this is the whole gcse course so if you guys want them i can sell them but yeah dm me and second tip is to always listen in class even throughout year 10 like it is so important because it is such a there's so much content in such little time so i feel like listening in all your classes and paying like 100 percent attention is like very important so i feel like that really helps me um throughout gcse biology um number three active recall as i said again active recall is so freaking important it helps you retain the memory in your brain and just all the key like key ideas and concepts of each topic and number four i do blurting so i usually blurt on a whiteboard or i blurt using my notes app on my laptop so i just type out like the points like multiple times so i could just refresh my memory and i also left this out from my notes taking so when i take my notes the big three that i always have is my teacher's notes the cgp open and the spec points the spec points is so important for all sciences like i love my spec so much like it has it is probably one of the most useful things ever like without it i don't think i'll be able to get the score that i have today but basically you just go through each one of them and just write out everything that you know about it and it'll help you it'll guide you to the right direction and you won't miss like a single piece of content which is really nice finally when you're getting to um the exams do so many past papers like a lot i did so many like i genuinely went on physics and math tutor and like did like almost each year but i feel like i really enjoyed biology so i think it's like my personal choice anyways so yeah okay now for chemistry so my first tip is to also listen in class and also focus on the practicals i had so much fun doing the practicals in um my previous school with my friend because i was paired up with my friend and it was so fun and most of these were very memorable for me so it was really easy to remember the titration and all that stuff and so i think paying attention is also really important for chemistry because if you don't understand one thing it'll lead on to the other and so just try to listen um secondly look at the spec points when you're revising again there's a lot of like um specific words and definitions that teachers might not have went through so i really highly recommend just going through respect and just making your notes from there and i feel like the spec is so much more useful than cgp like the cgp for chemistry was so complicated it complicated so many things and made chemistry seem like it was a lot harder than it is but when it 
wasn't in reality number three do active recall so i basically like thought about the topics this sounds so weird but i thought about it in the shower and then like i would like test myself i'll be like okay so what's the flame test for potassium it'll be lilac what's is it red no it's definitely lilac and then i'll think about lithium i was like oh it's red and then magnesium sodium is yellow and like the more that you think about it the more that will be in your memory so i feel like that really helped as well um number four do practice questions again also on um physics and math tutor i basically did a lot for chemistry i also enjoyed chemistry but not as much as bios i didn't do as much but i feel like chemistry is kind of repetitive so once you get it i think you'll be fine and um another tip is to also when you're scrolling on tiktok i usually scroll through like chemistry reels and that really helped with my active recall whenever i got to a chemistry reel that was like the topic that i was learning about i would like pause look at the tiktok and then like start recalling all the information i knew so i think that was really helpful as well and um lastly watch youtube videos if you don't understand i think i watched so many youtube videos for chemistry as well as physics because i wasn't good at physics and my teachers were so bad so i really recommend watching youtube videos especially the guy with the blue background like the really old man if you know who i'm talking about but yeah i really recommend that so that's it for chemistry last but not least is um physics so i didn't really enjoy physics as much as i did with chemistry and biology so it's kind of a struggle for me but i managed to um get good grades and i think the number one tip is to okay so i started off with watching the youtube videos to familiar familiarize myself with the content since for year 10 i had a really bad teacher so i went on youtube and i went on cognito to just to get my head around the concepts and ideas of physics i literally don't understand a single thing in physics and if you ask me now i would have forgotten like 90 percent of it but i watched like cognito to like visualize it in my head and also the experiments pay attention to experiments as well because they actually come really in handy because most of them in uh, most of the questions in the actual paper were all like application so i feel like that is really important as well um and also another tip is to just look through spec spec again and especially remember the equations even though you have an equation booklet it i feel like it's really important to memorize the equations like from the equations you'll understand the concepts and it really pulls together ideas like in your brain i don't know how to explain it but just memorize the equations and number three um do new mnemonics as well like to remember the em spectrum i i love the electromagnetic wave song it's like you know you know what i'm talking about right that song that really helps me to memorize it so if you're struggling with that that you can go for that song i did a lot of past papers for physics it's mostly just understanding the mark scheme so i've read through the mark scheme i did so many past papers and it's also kind of repetitive so for basically all gcse papers like repetitive so you just have to answer in the standardized form that they want you to and you'll get the mark and for the maths just keep on doing it just just find out like which questions you're getting the most mistakes at and then just retrying from there and then i think for that's it for physics i can't really say that much for physics because i'm not really good at it but i hope that this may help you guys when you're doing gcse's to conclude this video the biggest takeaways are take notes with um your teacher's notes the cgp and the spec follow the spec point like i cannot stress this enough follow the spec point do past papers listen in class that's all you need to know but thank you guys so much for watching i hope that 
this video answers your questions and may help you get through GCSEs. And don't forget to give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!